Hi everyone, this is Amy Hager here and I'm here with my little boy River and River's gonna help me cook today. So today we are making a massaged kale salad with a chipotle corn dressing. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So I got my kale, I don't know if you can see it here. We're just gonna move some stuff around so you can see. We gotta move our workspace. We're gonna bring all this a little bit closer. I got all of my ingredients. I'm gonna put that over there and pull this back. Okay, step one. Well, I'm just gonna put the corn in here just to get it out of the way. So I've got a 10 ounce bag of frozen corn and I get the frozen corn because this is organic and I just put it under warm water. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my 10 ounce bag of corn into the blender. Okay, what jobs am I gonna give you, River? You gonna help me eat the salad? <laughs> I haven't mastered getting River to eat salad yet, but we're gonna work on that. So we got the corn in there now, and then we're gonna go ahead and we'll uh, make the kale part. So we're gonna go ahead and take the kale, and you can see it's on a bunch of stems like this. So it's on the stem, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the stems and pinch it off pinch off the bottom of it, and then rip the top part off. And then I'll take the, the kale and go ahead and break it up into little pieces. So can you take the stem off? There you go, thanks. That's great. So River is a little, he's an aspiring video uh, YouTuber. He's going to be doing his own Minecraft channel sooner or later coming up. We're in the process of looking at computers for him to get him started and he's quite the little computer guy right river yeah and his what's your favorite game My, minecraft or roblox or halo which one's your favorite halo since we haven't played it Okay, Super so one time you said the Xbox doesn't work. Oh, okay, so the Xbox doesn't work. He hasn't been able to play Halo in a long time, so he's kind of bummed Only out. Only Minecraft. That. Only Minecraft? Yeah, so it's, it's the easy one to take care of. You just have to spell golden buzzard. You have to spell gold. Okay, so that's like his Minecraft. Uh, they just We just play it right now where we use the Xbox and a TV, and then he just logs in from there but what we're looking at is to get him involved in a kids group in town so they have a kids server and they're going to <laughs> you drop something that's okay mommy's not worried about that one i clean the floors <laughs> so we've got a kids group for minecraft coming up and river is going to be part of that kids group and we're just going to um, get them uh, connected and so a bunch of these other kids have got servers, like a, a kid server, and they're all just gonna play together and have little Minecraft wars, right? Are you gonna have bed wars or what kind of wars are you gonna do? What do you, they do online on, on Minecraft that you wanna try out that you, you can't do with just the Xbox? Bed wars. Bed wars, and what else? That, that is a good one. When I watch some of these videos, these guys are pretty awesome on these videos and it keeps, my kids attention like that pretend this is my phone this is my children like <laughs> you know so they're just having a good time so we're just going to go ahead keep cutting up the, the kale and just throw it in here and it's going to look like a lot but we're going to massage the kale down with the avocado and when we massage the kale down with the avocado it kind of just softens up the fiber so that it gets to be a little bit more uh, palatable it gets easier to chew and things like that so this kale is fresh from my garden. I picked it right before I came uh, on the video. I think I have a little clip I'll show you guys. Yeah, how's it going? Got one more? Yeah, so we just want the big woody stems. The stems can be a little woody, so that's why we're just trying to pick off the stems and just eat the leafy part of the kale. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, so my goal is one day to get River to eat salads, but <laughs> right now he'll just pick off a leaf or two. He'll take just a bite or two from the garden, and I'm happy with that. So how's it going? We got a little bit more to go. So I've just been at the house, and I've been like 
working like crazy, you guys. Just taking pictures, learning about the camera, uh, trying to post new videos every day. And it's been an exciting journey. So if you guys are watching and tuning in now, you're kind of watching the beginning of it. Uh, the whole point of everything that I'm doing is I'm just working on creating an e-course to help moms find their ideal body weight. Oh yeah, there's the stem. Yeah, so we're just helping moms find their ideal body weight because moms, we work so hard. And I know I struggled with, um, you know, after I was pregnant, I struggled with a little bit of postpartum and finding my ideal body weight as well. So uh, my heart goes out to you girls. I've been there. I know how it goes. So, uh, you know, I did a lot. I actually did not eat this way before. I used to eat a standard American diet. I grew up you know, in the 80s, and my mom was working all the time, and she bought a lot of processed foods. So, you know, it wouldn't be uncommon for us to go to McDonald's. It was all about convenience, like what can we make fast? Um, you know, she would make pot roast and mashed potatoes and things like that, but, um, you know, it, it was also a lot of frozen pizza and beefaroni and, you know, things in a can, like the Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Uh, which if you look at that, that has a lot of high fructose corn syrup in there and ugh, I won't touch it now. Uh, okay, so we got our salad here. We're gonna go ahead and take half of an avocado and we're gonna squish this avocado into the kale and we're gonna massage it. And this is gonna make the kale really soft. So I'm just peeling, I should have used a spoon. You could spoon this out as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and take out the avocado well, I don't need one now, bud, but thanks. You wanna help me with this? You take this and you just gotta kind of squish it in here. And you gotta get the avocado, like a little paste. Don't want to wash my hands. He doesn't wanna wash his hands, I don't blame you. <laughs> but this does make the lettuce, or the, or the kale taste really good. So, um, you just keep squishing it in here until the avocado creates like a thin little layer on the kale. And it doesn't take very long. And when I'm done, I, I'm gonna wash my hands. It's no big deal. And we're gonna cut up some vegetables in here. I'm gonna put a tomato in here. We'll put in a cucumber. I like to do cucumbers or celery in all my salads because there's a lot of natural sodium in there. And then this is going to be a corn salad because I wanted to make the dressing a little bit lighter in fat. So it's not gonna have quite as much um, because I'm putting all the avocado in the, the kale. So if you look, I'm gonna take the camera and bring the camera to you guys. So if you look, the kale is really squishy and soft and it just, it, it reduced in size as well. It was filling and topping over the bowl. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna move my bowl out of the way and then I'm gonna take my cucumber and I've got a peeler somewhere and I'm just gonna peel a little stripes. I'm not gonna peel the whole thing. So I'm gonna leave some of the green on there because it just creates a nice design when I actually cut the cucumbers. So when you're making your salads, it's just nice to create different textures and things like that. It makes the salad look nicer and um, you know, the more appealing that your food is, is the more that people are gonna to wanna to eat it. So when I'm cutting it, I'm cutting it on a diagonal. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not gonna cut it straight like a circle like this. I'm just gonna cut it on a diagonal so it's gonna create little wedges. So you see how I kinda of created a little wedge? And then it kinda of creates these pretty little cucumber chips with uh, you know, a little bit of the cucumber on the edges. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that through the whole thing. So I got my little cucumber wedges, and then do you want to help me decorate the salad with this? You think we can put the cucumber wedges around here somehow? Like maybe make a circle with them? Yeah, go ahead and take those. So this is going to be a salad designed by River Hager. All right. So I'll go ahead, and sometimes I like to taste my my veggies when I'm eating them. It doesn't always last very long. I was gonna put a, green, a red onion in it, but I'm gonna skip it out. I'm gonna use these green onions instead. You can tell I already used them. So I'm just gonna use like a little bit more, probably about a half of a cup worth. So 
So it's very important to get your kids involved. It's good for them to learn how to cook, how to make meals for themselves. Um, there's a lot of adults as they grow up, they don't know how to make anything because nobody ever taught them. So I like to have my kids in the kitchen. River actually knows how to make his own rice. He, he Pepper knows how to make pancakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here. I know how to make apple pancakes. Yeah, River's learning how to flip the pancakes and things like that. So he's okay. learning how to make his own food. they're too big, I can Yeah, if their pancakes are too big, then it breaks them. So we have to have mommy's help. But <laughs> he's starting to do that as well. He gets up on the step stool and he, he likes being in charge. It's actually to the point now where both the kids want to do it and they argue over who gets the spatula. <laughs> Right, bud? <clears throat> but it's fun. Okay, so I'm just making these into little squares. I'm not doing anything fancy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle this onto the salad. All over the place. This isn't gonna be like, well, I guess I could make this one of my pretty salads. I just have to arrange everything. And then we'll go ahead and we'll cut the rest of it up. I just skip this little stem part of the tomato. And I'll tell you one thing, I store my tomatoes on the kitchen counter. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, I've got a lot of fruit on the counter and I store things like the tomatoes. It's also, if you know you're gonna eat um, cucumbers, it's good to take them out and have your vegetables be a little bit warm when you're eating them. They're gonna taste a little better. Okay, and then I have a half of a pepper. So I'm gonna put half of a pepper into my salad dressing, actually. So this is kind of a large pepper, so I'm gonna cut a little less than half. Okay, and then we're gonna just help out the blender a little bit by cutting it into smaller pieces. Okay, half of a pepper. Can you put this into my, uh, my little blender? And I've got a clove of garlic. This is a smaller clove. I don't like a ton of garlic all the time. Sometimes I'll have a lot less than others. What, what do you, wait, not yet. You gotta put this in there. Yeah, so I'll, I'll help him do that. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> That's okay. Whoops. That's okay, just leave it down there. We'll get it later. Okay, so now what we gotta do? We gotta get my lime. So I'm gonna take half of a lime and juice the lime. We're gonna turn it upside down and then juice the lime in there. What do you think? Should I get, oops, are you okay? You got sprayed? We're gonna go ahead, let's just juice the whole thing. We got two sides of the lime. Go ahead, juice one lime in there. Yep, he's <laughs> staying away from the fire. Okay, and then we're done with that. Now, let's get one tablespoon of tahini. So I want to have a little bit of that nutty flavor to this, but not too much. So we're just going to get one tablespoon of tahini. We'll put that in here. Yum, yum. I can't wait. This is going to be delicious. And then we'll go ahead. I'm going to take, uh, what am I going to do? We got one teaspoon of this chipotle powder. So you can use uh, chipotles, but I have the powder. I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, the spoon doesn't fit. So I tried to do that again. I'm like, ah! So I'll go ahead and tip it upside down. Oops, this is about a teaspoon. Oops, okay, I'm making a huge mess. So I got like a little ball of spices, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then we're gonna do one fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder. Yeah, just the onion powder. So I'm gonna go ahead, twist this off, and take the little top off. And then we'll go ahead, get this out. We'll put that in there. Okay. And a fourth of a tablespoon, or a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So we'll go ahead, put the salt in here. So not too much. I try not to put a lot of salt in my food. Try to keep it really low salt, but just a little bit. And then I'm gonna cut the rest of this pepper because I just don't want it to go to waste. It'll be really delicious on the salad. So half the pepper will go on the salad as well. We're gonna cut this into little squares. And this is a sweet pepper. This was actually in the 
discounted section at my local produce stand because it had a bruise on it, but it was a perfectly good pepper. And when I shop like that, it's a very good way to get your produce at a little bit of a discount. So I don't know if you have a local grocery store that sells any discounted produce, but uh, you know, I found that our local Spanish restaurant, or our Spanish grocery store has some of that. We'll go ahead and put our peppers, our tomatoes, our cucumbers on here. Or are you gonna squeeze the juice of a pepper? Yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the top on the blender and River's gonna help me out here. You push it down on here. You give it a little couple pulses. Let's shake it to the bottom. Hold on one second. There we go, we gotta shake it to the bottom and go ahead and pulse away. We're done with the dressing and we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. This is gonna create a nice creamy dressing. I'm excited to try it. Wow, this is gonna be so good. What is this? Oh yeah. You know, you could probably even do a little less with the chili powder. That stuff is serious. <laughs> it was pretty good. Let's go ahead and try it on the salad. Mm. I'm just gonna get a, like a nice little dish. Well, there you have it, you guys. I had my little kitchen helper help me out. Thank you, River, you're awesome. He did a great job, don't you think? And here is our salad. So this is our massaged kale salad. And we have some, a half of a pepper, a tomato in there, some chives, some green onions, green onions or chives, either way. And I've got a cucumber sliced really fun and pretty. And then this is also our chipotle corn salad dressing, so you can see in here. And I'm gonna take a, a chip, you know, a cucumber chip, and I'm gonna scoop a piece out. And you can see just how creamy and delicious this is, you know, so this is just amazing to have on your salads. I'm gonna eat it, because <laughs> it looks super good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby, that's all I gotta say. Make this at home is good, right? So thanks everybody, can you say bye, River? Bye. Bye. <laughs>